Hey, it's Justin Kanoya, DJ, business coach, and idea sharer with one final video on the advanced EQ modes in Virtual DJ 2021, this time looking at stems. All right, let's take a look at the stems mode. So what you wanna do is you wanna click on the EQ mode arrow right here. And this is where we can select our EQ mode. And we're gonna do stems, of course. So we're gonna click on that. This is gonna provide the most flexibility when it comes to the different EQ modes. We're able to now isolate five different parts of the song, so the five different stems. And that is instruments, hi-hat, vocal, kick, and the bass. The advantage in having stem mode on the knobs, and we'll see this a little bit later, is that you can fade in and out the different stems. So maybe we just wanna back the vocal off slightly. Uh, so we can just start to turn that down. Now when it's in pad mode, it's instant on, instant off. So there's no way to manipulate the volume level of it. It's like on, off, on, off. All right, let's take a look at the stems mode in Virtual DJ. We're gonna start playing this loop. Right now, all five parts of the song, all five stems are active. And I'll take out each one individually so you can see how they sound. So first, the instrument. Now the hi-hat, the vocal, the kick, not much of a kick on this part, and finally the bass. Let's take out the instrument and the bass at the same time. And now, like I said, because we're on the knobs, I'm able to gradually bring in these parts. So I'm gonna gradually bring the bass, very slight bass in there, but the instrument will really be able to tell. Same, the vocal is probably going to be the part that we'll notice the most. So let's just say for whatever reason we want to gradually bring the vocal out. This I actually could see useful. Like I, you know, I DJ a lot of uh, fitness, um, and there's so many times during a workout that the, the uh, trainer is trying to explain something. Uh, so typically, what I have to do is lower the volume. That can be a little bit awkward. Um, I also don't want to just pause it, right? It's like playing like this. If I just pause it, it's kind of weird. I've also used the filter. That sounds kind of odd as well. But now this is a great way to just still keep the energy in the room, but give them sort of a bed of music to talk over. I think this is a really cool way to do that. Now you could still do that in, in the stems pad mode, but it would instantly cut off the vocal. To be able to bring it out really slightly is just kind of a cool way to do it. And of course, subsequently fade it back in when we're ready to resume the workout. All right, let's just go to another part of the song. So this is good because there's a little kick here. So let's, um, I'm gonna take everything out except the kick and the vocal. And now bring the instrumental in. So that's a uh, really you know cool functionality with the with the knobs. Something that's a little bit different from the pads because we just have a little bit more flexibility. Not only do we have the ability to isolate each part of the song, each different stem, but now we have the ability to fade in and fade out. Well, that is a look at stems mode and the advanced EQ mode in Virtual DJ 2021. I'm curious, which way are you gonna go with this? Um, you're gonna go with one of the other advanced EQ modes, you're gonna go with stems, you're gonna go with the pads, so many different options, but that's kind of how Virtual DJ works. It gives us a lot of different options to configure it to our own style of DJing. I have a whole bunch of other Virtual DJ videos. So uh, again, it's down in the comments, uh, the playlist, and we'll put it right here. So you can click on it and you can watch it next. Thank you so much for watching. I'm DJ Justin Kanoya, and I will see you next time online.